I'm ashamed. All of these tools, all these tools. And look, we made a giant reciprocating dildo. <laughs> if you have upstairs neighbors, you're probably familiar with this problem. They are really loud at the worst possible times. And all of them are wearing heels, apparently. Even the guys. It's, uh, it's San Francisco, what are you gonna do? My point is here, a courteous person would probably go upstairs and politely ask them to be more considerate. So what we're going to do is build a passive aggressive device that is equally loud back at them and we will call this device the ceiling stomper. We were thinking about taking a pair of boots, making some type of device that goes up to the ceiling and then you could crank it and then it would stomp back. Okay, so David and I went to the drawing board and we came up with two different designs. The first design utilizes a cam system. When you hold the handle here and you crank it, these cams will rotate and push these boots up and down. And design number two utilizes an offset turntable. We have a wheel right here and an offset pin, which is attached to a rod and then a piston. And then when you rotate it, it'll push the boots up and down. Honestly, I think the second design is gonna be better in terms of a material and process standpoint. So we're just gonna keep this one as a backup option and then move forward with this option. Here's a whimsical little 3D model of what Ryan showed you on the whiteboard. Basically everything here is made out of PVC, except for these wheels, which are gonna be cut from wood most likely. It will look something like this. We haven't decided yet if we actually wanna use boots. There's probably something louder and more annoying. Do you have any heels. ideas? Ooh. Hooker heels. Hooker heels. Good thing I just bought a new pair. Let's this do it. how we can afford an apartment in San Francisco. Yeah. There's some pretty lucrative street corners out there. Our cabinets are just stuffed with dollar bills. Why don't we deposit them? <laughs> it's income tax. You can still not report it. <laughs> okay, so to the hardware store. Dun -da -dun, dun -da -da -dun. I know where the pipes be. At your mom's house. All right, so we just came back from the hardware store and we have a bunch of pipe fittings and we're gonna put it all together. Now we're just trying to figure out a final overall length because right now it's a little unwieldy to hold. I think the crank should probably be around chest height. All right. The next thing that we have to do is give it a decent paint job. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Bam, look at that. There you have it. This thing's looking pretty sweet, but it's missing one obvious part. Das Bolt. So we actually didn't think this through at all. <laughs> this is not gonna fit properly, and it's totally gonna suck if we attempt to use it like this. <laughs> and this is our solution. Really? Yeah, That's I mean, come on, look. Huh. So you have some experience doing this. <laughs> all right, so now we just need to get the boots. I don't want raw cucumber in my nice boots, so we're gonna put these socks on. Safer too. We might need to put two of them on. <laughs> Maybe we should just wait until the hardware store opens. Our neighbors aren't gonna wait. All right, so this thing's finally put together, but before we use it, we're gonna do a quick test on these spray paint cans to see how powerful it is. Three, two, one. Okay, now that we know that our ceiling stomper works, we just need to wait for our upstairs neighbors to make some noise so we can finally use it for its intended purpose. Hey, hey, David! Our upstairs neighbors are jumping on their bed again. Oh, sounds like when my girlfriend invites her friend over. Good thing we left the lights on all night. Well, our electricity bill's fucked, but that's fine. The ceiling stomper's ready. All right, ready? Let's do this. Moment of truth. 
<laughs> Take that, loud, terrible, ornery neighbors. Right, you like us now, huh? You're still gonna drop all of your jewelry on the floor? Ah! Wait. They stopped. You're worth? We won! Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, no! 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 Just oh, use the one! Just use the one! <laughs> this was a terrible idea. I'm ashamed, you know? All these tools, all these tools. And look, we made a giant reciprocating dildo. <laughs> Okay, so maybe it didn't work perfectly as a ceiling stomper, and maybe it's too obscene to be used as a prop in the next Bruno movie, but Ryan and I were thinking it over, and it might have an application for repo men, especially when collecting money. For example... Eww, where the fuck is my money? What are you talking about? I already paid you! What is that? What are you doing? Stop! Stop it! Stop! As you can see, it's incredibly effective. Alright, so this project kind of went off the rails, but... So far. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we're not going to do a giveaway for this project because we already have a buyer lined up in the cash row, so... Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. I think for our next project, we're going to do something a little bit more exhilarating, a little more challenging. <laughs> it's going to be an aquatic video, so similar to our underwater Iron Man project. Yeah, just any other projects than, than this. <laughs> Anything is better at all. Yeah, so stay tuned and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Signing out. <laughs> <laughs>